Hi guys, I'm going to be doing my um, $20 makeup challenge video for you today and first I'd like to talk about why this was a little bit difficult for me. Um, I live in Canada and the drugstore pro price products, even like, you know, Wet n Wild, Walmart, are all like almost double it seems what you pay for in the States. Secondly, e.l.f. isn't readily available to me for some reason. Um, I had to order, I ordered a couple things online way back when, so I do have a few e.l.f. products I'm going to be using. And thirdly, the dollar stores in my area in any way, um, I'm not sure about like, you know, in the bigger cities, aren't very good. The cosmetics they sell, you know, are those dry lipsticks and they usually don't have any eye colors or anything, or just, you know, the kids' makeup, the glitter or something. They don't have, like, I've seen some tutorials where it seems they have beautiful palettes they use from a dollar store. Um, I did find one palette from a dollar store. It was, like, in Vancouver or something, and it was a huge dollar store that I do like that I'm going to be using. So, um, that's just what I wanted to mention. Um, it was quite a bit more difficult, I'd say, than if I lived in the States. Anyway, I'm going to get started, and I have nothing on my face right now except for my moisturizer, whatever, and I'm going to be starting with a concealer from Maybelline. Now, this was a little more expensive, but I got it on sale for two bucks, which I tried to rip up off a while ago at PharmaSave, and it is discontinued, but I find that you can find discontinued makeup at the dollar stores a lot of the time if you live in the States. If you live in Canada, um, you may be able to look for this on eBay. I'm not saying all drug stores in the States or Canada are the same, but they are quite a bit different from each other, so... Anyway, I don't have any other concealers, or couldn't find any even locally that would be cheap enough for me to use them in this tutorial. So I'm just applying this with my fingers where I feel I need some coverage. Flats like my nose. I get red around my nose, so... Some on my... any dips you might have. Around my nostrils. in my dark circles. This is a fabulous concealer. I really like it. And I don't really get much in the way of this. I just get, you know, redness. I'm kind of using this almost like a foundation, kind of blending it out. I don't know why brands have to, it seems they always discontinue some of their best products. You know, I'd really like to see the CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast be discontinued, but I bet they're going to have that one around for a while since everybody hates it. I'm going around my mouth. A little on my chin. And so that's it. This is a great, great concealer. I really, really like this and recommend this concealer. If you can find it, because I do believe it's been discontinued. Next I'm going to apply a little of this on my eyes and I'm going to be using that as the base for my eyeshadow.
Next, I'm going to be taking um, a powder. And this one is by Wet n Wild. Um, I think I found it on sale at a dollar store, actually, in um, the U.S. for about two dollars. And I'm always really happy when I find name brand makeup at the dollar stores. And um may have been three dollars. Anyway, it comes with this sponge that I'm not that happy with, but you know, it works. And it's I li I really like this powder actually. It definitely mattifies the skin, keeps it matte for a while. The packaging is kinda weird, it's like that eco friendly um cardboard packaging. But this is a great pretty translucent powder. Doesn't really offer coverage and I don't like powders that do offer coverage and the crappy thing is, it's quite dark for my skin tone. I can I can see it a little now more than I, that I'm using the um, powder brush. So I'm going, I mean the, what do you call it, the sponge, it shows up a little more that it's not quite the right color for my skin tone. So therefore I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush. And this is my $1 e.l.f. professional total face brush that I got online. I'm just applying that all over because um, I want to set that concealer. And since this is a little darker, I can kind of use it to warm up my skin tone. I want to make sure it's not cakey though. So that's my um, powder. Next, I'm going to be new moving on to my eyebrows. Now, if you have nice eyebrows, you can skip this step. Most people that did the um, $20 makeup challenge did skip the eyebrow step, but my eyebrows are horrible and super fair and don't look good unless I put something on them. Anyway, I got this from Essence, which is beginning to be sold at my Shoppers Drug Mart, and I think this was $2.00. And this one's in the shade blonde. And it comes with this little brush that's just kind of okay at the tip. There's one eyebrow. You can see the difference. It actually shows up a lot darker on camera than it is in real life. pretty important step that I do. I do like this eyebrow pencil, but it is a little more pigmented than most eyebrow pencils, which are kind of waxy. They're a lot less pigmented than the um, than eyebrow pencil or eyeliners, but this one is 
a little more pigmented. So you definitely have to be careful. But you can use this feature here to kind of blend it out. My fine eyebrow totally annoying because it's really hard to get them how you'd like them. Especially when you're like me and have eyebrows that are almost like a white. So this is what I have so far. My eyebrows are also totally different shapes so they never appear as you know, uniform as they could. Anyway, I'm going to get started on the eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using this nice palette and I'll talk to you about it for a bit, tell you what I think, because I'm trying to incorporate kind of a review into this. This is one of those hit and miss palettes, but for the price, it's mostly hit. These, it comes with, um, on the sides, some grays, some pinky purples, and six neutral colors. Um, now, from here to here, you're getting some awesome pigmentation. But this one on the su edge here is totally unpigmented. The dark purple and the light pink are really nice. The light purple is not very pigmented at all and all three of these colors here are nice and pigmented. So I'm going to be starting with the gold shade second from the edge there. And it's very nice and pigmented but not all the shadows in here are. Sometimes using not very pigmented shadows is nice for blending, blending out the look or just, you know, a sheer wash of color. And these do go on pretty nicely. I am just using the applicator that came with the palette and I'm going to be using a one dollar elf brush to kind of blend the look. And that concealer works really nicely as a base for my eyeshadow. I think somebody's doing like um metal work outside, I'm not sure what. But it's really annoying. This is what I've got so far, that kind of that orangey gold applied there. Next I'm going for the second um, shadow next to it, the neutral shade. And I'm not worrying about being too perfect because I'm going to be really going in with that elf shadow brush, making this more neat. Next I'm taking the e.l.f. one dollar shadow brush, which is a really good deal. It's kind of a flat, dense, yet really soft, not prickly eyeshadow brush and blending that, those two colors. And I'm going to be taking a little more of that brown shade. Applies a lot nicer with this e.l.f. shadow brush, but I wanted to see how the applicator would work. I'm just pointing that down and putting that in my crease. And the nice thing about this palette is you can definitely be versatile with it. Um, 
I'm going to be using a brown eyeliner with this look for more a neutral look, but you can take a black liner for the same price and pair it with the deep gray. So for your the twenty bucks I'm paying for this look, it's definitely very versatile. So that's what I got so far. Uh, kind of an a, a amber brown shade blended into a brown. And I'm going to take a darker brown. Um, the third one. And I'm going to be adding just a touch of that to my outer corner. Next, I'm going to just try to get some of the excess color off this brush and use that to blend all the colors. Next, I'm going to do a highlight and I'm going to be using um, this kind of cream color shade here, um, which is vi isn't very pigmented, but I like kind of a sheer look for my brow bone anyways, so. And this is definitely the least pigmented in the palette. I'm going to take a little of the um, bright white, which is with the gray tones, and apply it just directly under that brow bone, and use my finger kind of to blend out. And a little on the inner corner. That's it for the eyeshadow, except for maybe under my eyes. So I'm going to move on to eyeliner. And I'm using this fantastic eyeliner from Essence, which was two bucks. And it's called Teddy. It's kind of like a dark brown with some shimmer to it. And the only thing about this eyeliner is it's super creamy. So I actually had to put it in the freezer last night before I got to do this look because it was just too creamy. but it's nice and long wearing them. And it's probably partly because my house is so hot it's basically melting all of my cream products. Now that I've got that kind of creamy eyeliner set, I'm going to um, kind of smudge it with this um, applicator here. and maybe use a little of that darkest brown in the palette. It's actually more like a gray in between a dark brown and a dark gray. Anyway, it's really pretty. Be 
This is kind of like a smoky daytime look, I'd say. It's not super natural, but not too dramatic, so you couldn't wear it during daylight hours. Next, I'm going to go under my eye. Um, I'm trying to figure out which color I might use. I'm going to use this one here, the second to dark brown. Next, I'm going to be doing some blush, and I'm going to be using my um, one dollar Aziza blush. Came with a light pinky peach. No, it's more like just a pink and a kind of a brown shade that doesn't show up as brown as it is for a contour. I'm just applying this pinky sheet shade on the apples of my cheeks. And going on, to, which is really nice. It's a bit powdery, but it's really nice. Um, then taking that kind of a darker contour and squeezing this brush and kind of applying it slim down the sides of my face. And I just realized how long I'm taking with this tutorial, so I'm going to hurry up and get it over with. I got a one dollar elf eyelash curler. I have very straight eyelashes first, so um, curling them is not an option for me. They look pretty awful unless they're curled. And this isn't my favorite eyelash curler. Some people really like it though. I don't know why. It just doesn't do as much as I'd hoped for. And I'm using this, which cost me four bucks on sale. Great lash. I would use e.l.f., but I don't have any access to any e.l.f. This actually curled them pretty nicely today. I don't know, maybe my eyelashes are behaving properly today. Some days they curl, some days they don't. Now this is kind of a nothing mascara. The one thing I do like about it is it has a small wand which is really good for people like me who have super light eyelashes because you want to get all of them covered. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Anyway, um, you can go ahead and apply mascara on my lower lashes. I think I'm just going to not do it today because it's a hot day. And I find that mascara smudges. Anyway, I'm going to apply my e.l.f. gloss in Oasis. 
just kind of a sparkly golden nude shape. And this is your finished look, kind of a smoky daytime eye, and with everything it was under $20.